The Labour Party has got some fresh opposition with new Liberals and Nationals uh, leader. Should, uh, who, tell us about them and uh, should Mark McGowan, who was Mr. 90-something percent during the uh, pandemic, be worried? Look, he doesn't have to be worried in particular, but I think that uh, the West Australian public are now seeing that there is a worthy opposition leader of the Liberal Party uh, and the changing of the guards with the National Party has enabled that discussion to take place about whether the Liberal Party and the National Party should forge a formal coalition mm -hmm. here in Western Australia. They are not in a formal coalition. Uh, there is significant talk that with the Liberal brand um, being so unpalatable uh, at a state level, um, that the Liberals and Nationals should form that coalition and the National Party should start running uh, candidates in blue chip inner city seats, uh, which were traditional Liberal Party seats, so the Conservative vote can survive uh, while the Liberal Party recovers its brand under the new leadership of Libby Metham, which is a absolute encouragement uh, to Liberal voters across Western Australia. It has never been done before, but it is seriously being talked about here in Western Australia uh, to retain that Conservative vote. The Nationals poll about 16%, which is very high on a primary uh, in seats such as Bateman, which is blue blue chip, $50 million Riverside Territory. Chris, I just want to just ask you then, are you talking about, to be clear, three-quartered seat, uh, three-quartered contests in some of those blue ribbon seats, or are you talking about the Liberals simply vacating the field for the Nats to come in and run there? Look, I think the primary objective is to retain the Conservative vote, and if a formal coalition uh, is merged, uh, I think certainly the National Party has a better chance of retaining the Conservative vote in a number of those seats. Not all of them, uh, but certainly in a number of them, where a lot of the traditional Liberal vote is from farmers who've relocated to the city, uh, perhaps to send their children to boarding school and are still property owners in the city, as well as retaining residences uh, in National Party electorates. Those strong Conservative voters, they want to vote Conservative. And until the Liberal Party recovers under the new leadership, which I'm sure it has every possibility of doing with the new strong leader it has, um, we should consider that as a formal coalition to run National Party and for the Liberals to not run in all of those seats. Fascinating. And, you know, let's all just remember that in uh, state elections, state politics, things can change very quickly. I remember when Queensland's Labor Party, um, you know, <laughs> couldn't fill a coaster van 